Hello, my name is Reem Assad. I'm the Vice President for Cisco for Middle East and Africa. We have been always proudly participating in Jitex for the last, I would say, maybe over 20 years that we've been always coming to Jitex, showcasing our new innovations. And uh, this year we, we're showcasing, of course, with the theme of AI, we're showcasing a lot of innovation and the use of AI across our networks, across our infrastructure, across security, across collaboration, across hybrid work. So the applications are endless. And specifically here, we're talking about also the mega trends of the business, how the use of uh, AI for applications, how you need to reimagine re the applications, whether it's uh, on-prem, on the cloud, whether it's uh, as a service, whether it's cloud native, how we're reimagining the applications and the use of AI, how do you build the right infrastructure to be able to deal with this distributed new system, because you have now work streams and workloads coming from everywhere. So how you build the right solid, resilient network and how software is becoming all networks now are moving into being software defined networks with the use of um, generative AI in, in software development. We're also talking about hybrid work because this is the new norm now and even in the UAE we had a study uh, that was commissioned um, uh, from, by Cisco and it showed that about 62 percent of, uh, of residents in the UAE use the internet to be able to work from home or to run their own businesses. So how do you turn this hybrid work into an inclusive work where you are working from the office, where the office becomes a magnet, not a mandate, where if you're at home, you're able to have the same engagement and the same experience and you'll be able to be productive. How do you do um, um, team working? How do you do innovations by using hybrid work? Because you have all these work streams coming from everywhere and you have to be able to manage all these distributed workloads coming from everywhere with a solid network. But as I say this, as you're opening all your businesses and you're becoming on the internet, that also introduces, when you're all connected, that, that also introduces vulnerability. And we're all, of course, all connected, hence we are all vulnerable as well. So you, cybersecurity becomes top of mind because you have to build your network resiliency to be able to manage security, whether it's coming from a handset, a mobile, an endpoint, a cloud, a data center somewhere, you need to have an AI empowered security cloud to be able to, to manage all these work streams, to manage threat detection, to be able to deal with threats when they come through and build a resilient network and infrastructure to be able to safeguard you as a business or as a government. So sustainability is embedded at the heart of everything we do because as much as we're driving a Cisco digital transformation in the region, we believe that we want the region to be digital, we want to help build digital economies, we want to help our region to reduce its reliance on oil and gas, diversify its economies, but also we want to do this in a green way. So now the whole narrative is how can we do this with new clean energy and help our customers as they transition? How can we really make circular economy a reality and moving from the linear economy we are at? And how we build uh, resilient ecosystems that can support sustainability and it becomes the future for us. So green and digital. This is what we hope to do, uh, to be to have an inclusive world for all of us. The, the um, digital skills and the gaps are becoming a major concern in the world. And I'm not talking just for AI, uh, I'm talking in general. So there's definitely a gap in digital skills across the board. And this is one of the major challenges that all governments all uh, businesses are looking at, whether they're employers or even for students graduating from schools. And the challenge I see today is there's definitely a gap between demand and supply. And this is a challenge that is a big concern for governments, for employers and for, for, for graduates, right? And, and employees as well. So how can we bridge this gap? How can we help to fill this gap and really bring this digital skill sets that will in turn help us in our in our region to really bridge the digital divide and really provide digital economy as we're doing all this transformation as we speak. So in Cisco, we have been really committed to education in general and specifically in the UAE and the region at large, we've been focusing on education through our Cisco Networking Academy. And this is part of our social responsibility program where we built a platform where we can help uh, learners train the trainers and build the right curricula to help in networking, to help in cybersecurity, to help in IoT, to help in programmability like Python, and a lot of the new business skills that are needed. And we've been committed to this, and across Middle East and Africa, 
We have trained to date about 3.3 million learners since the inception of our program in the region. In the UAE, for example, we've been having our networking academy since 1999. And to date, we have trained over 105,000 learners. And just last year, we have trained about 12,000 learners. And if you ask me why is this important, it's very important for two reasons. One, you need to fulfill the needs for the current businesses today, and the gap is widening. So we need to have this engine to be able to, 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 uh, to have the right employees that are well-trained to be able, and with the digital skills, to be able to fulfill the jobs of the future, but also, as we, with the advent of technology, you need to be able to have the engine that will help you to continue to be sustainable and, and be able to, to, to build the skills of the future. So it's very important to have, uh, to, to, to serve, solve for today, but also solve for the future. So Cisco expressed uh, the intention to acquire Splunk for 28 billion US dollars, and this transition is gonna take about a year. And really looking forward because this, uh, this unity of both companies will really make Cisco one of the largest software companies of the world. So we're looking forward to the use of generative AI and cybersecurity, observability, and really, and really moving to the next step.